Hello and welcome to this short video on REST enabled SQL in Oracle Apex. So I'm with inside my schema here called low underscore code and you can see I have a number of database objects. So what I'm going to do is go into SQL Workshop and then RESTful Services and I just want to register this schema. So let me just go and have a quick look underneath here. I've got, for example, employees and I just want to copy that URL and paste it in to see that I'm getting data out. And there's my employees coming through. So now back in my workspace, I'm actually going to log out of this particular workspace and log into another one I've got called REST. Within my new workspace here, REST, I'm going to go and have a quick look at SQL Workshop. And if you have a look, I have the EMP and the DEP tables and no other tables in here. So within the application builder, I've already defined a little application called REST Enabled SQL. Going to share components, create REST Enabled SQL. Click, give it a name. So this is going to be low code schema. And then just paste in that URL. Now, I don't want anything beyond the schema alias there. Click next. And now I need to give it credentials. So I'll just go low code, basic authentication. My client ID is going to be my schema name. And I need to put in my password. And click create. And you'll see that that's successful. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back into my application and I'm going to create some pages based on tables on that RESTful service. So I'm going to create a report with the form and I'm going to call this projects and this one project. And then I'm just going to go next. Sure, give me a navigation menu entry. Now within the data source, instead of choosing local database, I'm going to select REST enabled SQL. And once I select that schema, you'll notice that it actually gives me a list of all the database objects in my low code schema. So I'm going to select EBA projects, go next, create, add the primary key and click create. And now I can run this application and it's working on my EBA projects table out of another schema as though it's a local table. And here's my records. So for example, I'll change the name. And I'll apply my changes. And everything just works. In this video, I've been able to show you how you can REST enable a schema and then utilize it in a separate schema to be able to build out applications on those database objects. Now you can also do this through SQL Developer as far as the REST enablement goes. I've just shown you through the GUI, which is a lot simpler to do. So thank you very much for watching this video.